Welcome to Good Pro Tutorial 9, Periodic Surfaces Part 2. Here we will create a rotationally periodic turbine using three ellipses for the hub, the shroud, and the blade, and two planes bounding the front and the back. Fast forward to around 2 minutes and 20 seconds if you are not interested in the dimensions of these. Once the surfaces are complete, create the periodic surface by selecting Load X Polar from the Surface menu. Set the period to 30 and the scale to 0.2. Turn on the cut plane and snap it normal to the world Y axis. Translate it upwards so it's approximately even with the hub cylinder. Rotate to a top view and create a rectangular topology. Insert four sheets approximately 10% inward from each edge. Group the inner points and create a wrap 50% smaller around the blade. Add all the points to a new group. Center the cut plane on the group, rotate to a front view, and then translate the cut plane upward to be even with the edge of the shroud. Pancake the group to the cut plane. Assign the lower part of the topology to the hub and the upper part to the shroud. Assign the front and back to the planes. Assign the inner topology to the blade.
Then select the periodic surface and assign points to it in pairs using the PVC button. Press apply to assign each pair. Cycle through the surfaces to make sure topology is assigned to each one properly before generating the grid. Set all densities to 16 in order to obtain a good grid resolution. It will take some time for the grid to converge. After loading the grid, create a shell. To view the full periodic grid, press the None button next to the Coloring button and choose Rotate Auto. Create edge sheets to view the grid. The blade surface can easily be changed by selecting it and choosing Reload Current from the Surface menu. Change the type to Quad and load Blade.Quad. Leave the other parameters as they were. Stop previous grid generation and begin generating a new grid. After a few minutes, the new grid can be loaded and viewed.